Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make logos for Football Manager. So first of all, you need to download a software called FM Graphics Configurator. Uh, I'm going to put the download link in the description. So after you download it, go ahead and run the application. Uh, and then run Football Manager. Go FM, uh, Preferences, Preferences, Interface. And then tick this option, show screen IDs in title bar to assist scanning. And then hit confirm. After that, you're going to see some IDs next to the uh, club names or competition names or whatever, like nation names. So in this video, I'm going to make a logo for Chelsea. And, uh, so get to the main uh, club's main screen and then you will see its ID right here. It's called uh, 630. Uh, after you get the ID number, go ahead and type, I mean, search for a Chelsea logo. Preferably PNG because uh, SVG files uh, like this one. Yeah, it's an SVG file. SVG files like this one uh, doesn't show up in the game. Preferably PNG or JPEG. But uh, JPEG pictures, I mean, if you are going to use JPEG, you need to uh, remove the background. So don't bother, just get a PNG file. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this is good. Save image, Chelsea logo. And then you want to open it with Photoshop. After you open it with Photoshop, just edit a little bit, uh, like leave some space between the edges of the image. And then uh, go ahead to the, go to the My Documents and like sports interactive fm16 and make a new folder if you don't have one called graphics and under that make a new folder called logos now you need to make two folders one is called small and the other one is called normal because you're also gonna make small logos for uh, the Premier League table logos like this one and normal logos will be this one the Chelsea logo, the current Chelsea logo so let's create the files normal and small ok after you did done that, you are done with it go image on Photoshop, image size and resize the image to 180 to 180 and then save it under the normal file in uh, Sports Interactive Graphics Logos Sports Interactive FM16 Graphics Logos Normal and when you're saving it you need to name it as Chelsea's ID which is 630 and then go ahead and uh, resize image to 20 to 20 this is the small uh, logo size and then save it under the small in graphics sports interactive fm16 graphics logo small and with the same name 630 so after you do you're done with this uh, run the application and go ahead and browse the folder the logo folder my documents you need to browse for normal and small as well separately so sports interactive fm16 graphics logos normal so after you if you choose the normal directory you need to choose normal clubs in here and then hit process one file successfully added to config xml okay so let's check it logos normal so this program basically creates the uh, xml file for the game to read the logo image and put it into the game so what you need to be care careful about this line if it's 180 to 180 logo I mean if it's a normal logo it has to say logo on the at the end of the code and also this directory should be the exact same directory that you have for your logos okay so now we need to make uh, a config file for the small logo Again, browse the small logos directory. 
Sports Interactive, FM16, Graphics, Logos, Small. And now choose Small Clubs. And then hit Process. One file successfully added to config XML. Let's check it. Config XML. It says icon when it's a small logo. And it says uh, logo when it's a normal uh, logo. Okay, so this, uh, by the way, uh, this config file is created by the program by default. The only thing you need to edit if there is something wrong is this line. Uh, sorry. Uh, this line. Okay, so I think we are done with this. Get back, preferences. After you done, you are done with everything, go back to uh, interface or just go back to preferences and hit reload skin. By the way, if you have any kind of problems while tra you are trying to do that or have any questions about how things work, you can always ask at the comment section. I will try to answer as best as I can. Okay, so skin reloaded. Let's go and search for Chelsea. And as you can see, you can see the Chelsea logo right here. And when you click on the club's main screen, you can see the Chelsea logo here as well. So I think it's working probably uh, pretty good. So that would be all guys. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.